where we worship the name of Jesus. To him alone be all the glory and all the praise. Um, God is so good. Thank you for joining me. Revelation 21, it says, um, but before I get into this, you know, the Bible is so interesting. There are those precious scriptures and passages that bring so much, talks about the love of God, the goodness of God, and bring comfort and warmth to our hearts and souls. But there's another side. The Bible also rebukes. The Bible also shows us um, sin in the world. And this is one of the verses that um, talks about that. Here we see, as for the cowardly, and we can contrast the cowardly to the verse before, um, which we looked at yesterday, the one who conquers will have his heritage and I will be his God. But here we have, instead of the people who were conquering and rising above the world and the opposition and everyone slamming them and, and, and speaking evil of them, but they continue to hold on to Jesus, say, I'm going to continue to stick to Jesus. Now what the world says but there's some who, oh, no, no, we can't take that pressure anymore. We want to be cool. We want to be loved by the world. We want the, the, the approval of men. We want the praise of men. We want everyone to think we're nice and we're good and so on. We're politically correct. Um, as for the cowardly, the cowardly, those who succumb, those who bend to the pressures of the world, to, to this um, wicked world system, and the things that, that they declare to be true and good and, and okay, but we're saying, no, that is against the scripture. As for the cowardly, the faithless, the people who lack faith, as for the detestable, because they're doing things that are disgusting in the eyes of God. Things are totally um, alien to scripture, uh, to what God's word says. For murderers, those who go and, and, and kill, um, premeditated murder, gang shootings um you know walking around with, with with guns and 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 killing it's so senseless the violence we see um in the world um whether it's from um some group rising up against another whether it's politically um uh, related or it's, it's because of religion or um just out of uh, gangs and drugs and things like that for the murderers you know, you cannot take someone's life. That is not um, what God desired. God is one who gave life and and um, he has appointed us a time to die. But no one, no one can um, go ahead and just take someone's life and think that's okay. The murderers, the sexually immoral. Here's a big one. Two of the big things the Bible talks about is murder and adultery. The sexually immoral. Those who decided, well, my, this is my body and I can sleep with whoever I want, whenever I want, um, wherever I want, however I want. The Bible determined um, sexual activity to only occur in the context of marriage. A man who is married um, to um, his wife and the two of them sticking, being faithful to each other, nothing outside of that. It brings so much um, chaos, confusion. You're talking about STDs, unwanted pregnancies, teen pregnancies. Um, and then the young man moves away. He doesn't want to have anything to do with that young woman anymore. Her heart is broken and many of her dreams are shattered. Many of them do come true and they, 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 they do well, thankfully. Um, broken marriages because of infidelity, um, divorce and things like that. The sexually immoral, and there's so much sexual immorality uh, taking place in the world today. And it's like men, and, and they're just inventing more and more ways to promote immorality. We've got sex trafficking going on, you know, human trafficking, sex trafficking going on, underage girls, children, um, pedophilia, and pornography. These are things that are just being pushed by the world and destroying lives sorcerers people dabbling in 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 um the supernatural but it's not the good supernatural it's dabbling with satan the sorcerers the idolaters people worshiping idols and basically when you're worshiping idols you're worshiping demons you know whether someone likes it or not that's what it is you're worshiping demons and the bible says all liars all liars and we'll take this up tomorrow 
we continue this verse, but we sing God listing for us the things that are unacceptable, things that God hates, um, that we should not be involved in. Praise God. 